What's up, family status? I hope everyone having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon. Today, I'm going to show you how to save money by installing your own blinds. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have all of the right tools to install your blinds. I will leave the link in the description below for all of these tools. So all you have to do is click the link and these products will pop up. And this is what you will need. A drill, a drill bit set, measuring tape, and a ladder. And that's all you need to install your own blinds. And these products all together only cost $130. We had somebody come out and give us a quote and guess how much he said he would charge us. Guess, what you think? $2,500 and he said we don't install those cheap Home Depot blinds. I said did you say Home Depot have the cheap blinds? He said yeah. I said okay uh, I'll give you a call back if I don't like the cheap blinds from Home Depot. Long story short I never called him back because after we went online to check out the cheap Home Depot blinds, we found out that if we buy the blinds ourselves, they will only cost $1,000. Yeah, I know, that's crazy, right? $1,000, so we'll save $1,500 if we do the blinds ourselves, check out our two inch faux wood blinds. Check them out. Let's get a little closer. And these are faux wood, which means they're just artificial, they're not real wood. But do they look cheap to you? Let me know in the comment section. Do these blinds look cheap to you? They don't look cheap to me neither. But, you know, if we would have just went with the guy said, we wouldn't have saved $1,500. So I hope after watching this video, you do the same as us and save your money. Now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do this step by step. And trust me, this is super easy because I'm not Bob the Builder and this is my first time installing blinds so I know anybody can do it. Trust me. The first step is measuring your windows. This step is super important because you have to make sure you buy the right size blinds. And you want to make sure you measure it like this and what I mean by that is on the inside of the window you don't want to measure from right here to right there. And measure the length of your windows just like this. From the top of the inside to the bottom of the inside. This window is 70 inches long. A quick tip, if you're measuring blinds for your door, you want to measure from right there to right there, which is 24 inches. You don't want to measure the inside right here to right there, which is 21 inches. So if you did that, your blinds will be too small to cover your window. So don't forget that. You want to measure from right there to right there. And during the length, you want to do the same thing from the top to the bottom. So the length of our window is 66 inches and the width is 24 inches. Write down all of your measurements because you will need this when it's time to buy your blinds. The second step is to go to homedepot.com search for blinds click on this right here these are the same two inch forward blinds that we have you can order your blinds on your phone or computer now all you have to do is select all of your measurements and add them to the cart a quick tip you should know about these blinds is that they are actually a half inch shorter in width than they say they are so if you buy 35 inch width blinds they are actually 34.5 inches. So after you receive your blinds, the third step is to put all of your blinds where they will be installed. So check it out. We have all of our blinds by the window where they will be installed. 
over here. We have our door window blinds over here. And check it out. This is how your blinds will look when you get them. So this is how you will know where they will be installed. It has this on the box. See? So remember our door window was 24 inches in width. So we ended up getting 24 and a half because remember that tip that the width is actually a half inch shorter and the length was 66 inches. So we ended up getting 72. And these are our family room blinds. And remember the measurements, they were 34 inches wide and 70 inches long. So we ended up ordering 34 inches in width and 72 inches in length. So this is the box with the tools inside of it that you will need to install your blinds. This is what comes inside of it. This is what you will need to hang your blinds. And we can install these right now. So, so all you have to do with this is push it in like this. That's simple. And check this out. They also have pieces that go on the end at the top right here. And all you have to do is click them on the same way we did with the pieces at the bottom. But I don't install these because you won't even see the end of this anyway. Because check this out. You see that? You won't be able to see the opening because it'll be covered. So I don't install those, but that's optional. You can do it if you want to. Take these and you want to take off this little piece right here. You don't want to take off the whole thing. I'll show you. Let's see. You want to take it off just like that. Because what this is, is sticky paper. So it helps you stick this so you can install your blinds. It just makes it easier. I'll show you guys in just a second what I mean. So make sure you take it off just like this. You see, you don't wanna rip off this whole thing because this helps stick and this help put up your blinds easier. So check it out. This is how they should look before you install them. After you do that, you want to get your screws ready to install our blinds we are using these the shorter screws we're not using these so we're going to take these put them to the side and these are the screws we're using to install our blinds. After you have your blind bracket and your screws ready, you wanna make sure you choose the right drill bit to start a hole to install your blinds. So you see these right here? These are called drill bits. So what you don't wanna use is something like this, because check it out. These are the holes where our screws will be going. You see this, look. This can't even go through that hole. You want to use something small like this. See that? Let's check this out. See that? That goes right through there. No problem. So you want to make sure you use a small drill bit, not a big one. Now all we have to do is get our drill. Check it out. You see right here, the button is pushed in and it's out on this side, that means it's going left. If you push it right here, that means it's going right. So check it out. When you push this in and hold this, and it goes to the right, it gets tighter. That's what you will need 
to hold this. When you push this in and it goes to the left and you hold this, check it out. It gets wider. That's what you will need to hold your screw piece. And what I mean by that is one of these. So now we're gonna put this in there just like this and hold this piece, check it out. Make sure it's tight just like that. Now we're ready. So now all we have to do is take our brackets and place them right here. And what I like to do to make things simple is place the back on this line. So this makes it easier for my blinds to be even without doing any measurements. Because if we place them out here, see we would have to make sure it's even on that side. But when it's right here, it'll be even on that side. All we have to do is put it right there. So now I'll show you why this sticky part is important. So just take it, place it right there. Make sure we push it down kind of hard. So it sticks. Now we're gonna take our drill bit and put a hole in these two holes right here. Watch how easy this is, guys. And this step is important because if you just try to take the screw and put it in there, it'll be hard, trust me. Drill a small hole. See it sticks up there, that makes it easier. Now we're gonna take our drill. Remember, make sure it's loose, hold this part. See that comes out, make it looser. Now we're gonna take our other piece that we need for the screw, put it in there. Tighten it up. Remember, hold this part. Make sure it's going to the right. Do you hear that? Now it's tight. Gonna get our screw. And go in just like this. See how easy that was? Now all we have is one more screw. And it's that simple. Now all we have to do is do the same thing on this side. And it's that easy. We're gonna place it right here. And I like to place it like right on the inside of the window, right there. Press it up there so it sticks. Now we're gonna start with our holes. That's one. That's two. Let's hold it up there, make sure it sticks. And sometimes they start to fall a little bit, but that's okay. Cause you already got your holes up there so you know where it goes. Now we're gonna do the same thing. On this side. Check it out, it's that simple. I have one bracket right there and the other one right there. And remember this little line I was talking about to make it easier for you? Well, check it out. So now you gotta take these pieces out of your toolbox that come with the blinds. They look just like this, all right? And you wanna make sure that you see this on the front of your blinds. So you wanna install them like this, not like this, because this is how you open and close your blinds. So take these pieces and clip them on just like this. Check it out. 
You want to make sure you hear that click just like that. They should look just like this. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So right here, take this piece, hear that click, just like that. And these help with this piece. And this goes right there, just like that. So check it out, let me show you guys an example. You see that at the top? That's how it should look when you're finished. So now all we have to do is take our blinds and you should hear a click sound. Push them in just like that. And you might not hear a click. There it goes. Check it out and it's that simple. Next step is to take this piece which is how you open and close your blinds. And you see that hole right there? We're gonna take this and click that in right up there. So watch how simple this is. Just push it in till you hear that click. And it's that simple. Now we have to take this piece, which is the front cover, and put it right here. So. You see this right here? We're gonna put those on those little clips right here. And it's super simple. All you have to do is kind of give it a little push. And it's that simple. Check it out. And it's that easy to install your own blinds. Now I have to ask one more time. Do these blinds look cheap to you? Because if this is what cheap blinds look like, I don't mind having cheap blinds. It's that easy. See that? It only took 10 minutes to do this. So you want us to pay $2,500 for about, what, let's say, maybe an hour of work. It might take an hour to do everything in the house. Look, it's that simple. And these are two inch Full wood cordless blinds. So this is what cheap blinds look like, I guess. They look expensive to me, but like I said, please let us know in the comment section what you think. So now that we have these installed, all we have to do now is come over here so I can show you guys the difference between installing your blinds right there and installing your blinds for a door. Because now we have to put our brackets up here. So now we're gonna install the blinds for our door. And installing the blinds for your doors have one extra step. Check it out. Like I said, we ended up getting 24 and a half. I'll show you guys again. For our door, 24 and a half and 72 inches. Like this. All you have to do is push them in. Just 
just like that. Take this piece, click it in. Now it's time to install our brackets. So, remember, take this piece off, leave the sticky piece. So now we're going to put on these just like this, right here. And you want to make sure it's on there just like this. You see that? You don't want to put it on there halfway like that. Make sure you push that down just like that. I'll do the same for the other side. This piece. When you put your brackets above your door, you want to make sure you put it where this piece it's like right there. See that? Let's stick it on the wall and make sure it's straight. So your blinds will be straight. Now instead of putting our holes in those tiny holes right there, we're gonna put them right here. You see? See that? So look, check it out. Just like this. Can you guys see? Make sure you guys can see. Sticks. Check it out. I'm gonna put one hole right here. You want to make sure you don't go too deep because you don't want to go through the door. So just make a small little hole just like this. One more, just like this. Just like that. And this is why you need a drill bit because if you just try to take a screw and put it through here, trust me, you're gonna have a long day. And it's that simple. It's that simple. When you open the door, you see that? You don't want your blinds to do that when you open the door. I'm gonna actually leave another link in the description for some smaller screws that you will need to do this because uh, the blinds, well, you won't have to order any screws if you use these long screws. I don't use these long screws because I just didn't like using them. I like using the shorter ones because they were easier for me. So if you don't use these long screws, I will leave the link in the description for smaller screws. Before you install these at the bottom, you want to make sure your blinds are the right length. You don't want to install them too high and you don't want to install them too low. See that? You want to make sure they're perfect, like right there. So to make this step simple, what I like to do is just place this piece right here at the end right there. See that? And I make a hole with the drill bit. Just like that. Now I'm gonna get a screw. And like I said, I like to make things simple, so I only use one screw. You don't need two. So now what I do is pull it down, and I put it in that hole right there. Then I come to this side, and I do the same thing. You want this to be kind of tight. You don't want it to be loose because you don't want your blinds to move. So let's see, we're going to see where this goes. 
right there. Okay. Down. Put it in that little small hole right there. Then you want to come over here. Let me show you guys. See that? It's supposed to look like that. Remember, that's perfect. You don't want it to be loose. So just pull that back a little bit and it goes in just like that. Check out what happens now when we open our door. See that? It doesn't swing like it did when we first opened it. So that's why those at the bottom are super important. So now all we have to do is install the top piece. And the top piece for the doors are a little different as well. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so these are the pieces that you will need when you install the blinds for your door. See this right here? Check this out. So these two pieces right here, you take one of these, you put it in there just like this. Then you go to the other side and you put this piece in there just like this. So check it out, see that? So now what we gotta do is take these two pieces and push them down like this. And we're gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. Check it out, you see that? See how it looks now? So what this does, let me give you guys an example of how this looks. So check out our front door. You see that? You see how it looks? That's how you install the top piece for your doors. Some people do this all around the house, but I only just do it for the doors. But you can do whatever you want to do. So the last step is we're going to take this and make sure this is even when you put it on there. Just push it on there like that. It's that easy to save money by installing your own blinds. Check it out. See that? Beautiful. Look, let's close this. Get a closer look at the blinds. So now we have to do is do the same thing to that side.